From MTN News, this is Montana This Morning. One year after the tragic death of Eric Love, the founder of Crosscut Mountain Sports Center, we'll show you how the organization is trying to fulfill this vision. I'm Alina Howder. One Billings teenager had the adventure of a lifetime going whitewater rafting and fly fishing while all being in a wheelchair. We'll tell you more coming up. Some animals you'd never expect to see in Montana are here in Bozeman swimming around. I'm Jolie Slee here at the Big Sky Country Fair and I'll tell you about an educational sea lion show and why you should come check it out. That, that is, is so fun. Awesome. Oh my gosh, they were coming in hot. They were. <laughs> that they were, shot. Jolie. That is so fun. All right, 631 on this Friday, Jay McDonald and Matt Elwell with you. A nice view over the mining yes, city, uh, not a lot clear, of clouds. Clear no. sky for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, as we get into the afternoon, a few clouds trying to work into okay. a few areas, especially around Butte, Anaconda, okay. but even at that, our rain chances are still minuscule overall. Uh, we're in the midst of a big heat wave uh, that's trying to move in for southwest Montana. It's hot for Montana anyway, yes. uh, but it's a dry heat as they say. That's exactly right. Makes you feel better when it you say it. It does. Uh, mainly sunny skies expected for the day today. These temperatures building into the upper 80s and low 90s for most of the area. Rain chances relatively slim for the next seven days. I'm going to break down uh, the forecast heading through the weekend. We'll also take a look at the smoke forecast. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you very much, Matt. 632, the trial of Zachary Norman, the man accused of killing Brendan and Chase Estabrook, continued yesterday. In court, the jury watched surveillance of Norman being interrogated. In the video, Norman repeatedly tells detectives he has no recollection of what went down that night because he had blacked out. He says he has no idea who Brendan and Chase Estabrook are or what happened to his gun that police found inside a waistband holster next to a water heater in Norman's home. Norman says he didn't drink very much that night, which is opposite of what witnesses have testified in the last four days. The trial is set to continue today. And Montana State University says it will lead a portion of a multi-institutional study funded by the U.S. Department of Defense. The team from MSU includes an assistant professor, grad student, and postdoctoral researcher who will conduct surveys to explore how climate change could impact agriculture and food production in Africa and how it could impact U.S. national security. MSU's team We'll do the surveys in Kenya and Zambia in 2024 and again in 2027. The study is funded by a $3 million grant from the DOD's Minerva program. Five universities total are participating. The University of California, Santa Barbara is heading up the project. And the Biden administration estimates that 3,700 Montana student loan borrowers will receive $185 million in loan forgiveness under the latest plan. The U.S. Supreme Court struck down the administration's plan to offer up $20,000 worth of loan forgiveness to individuals making less than $125,000 a year and married couples making less than $250,000. In response, the administration announced plans to discharge loans of people who have been making payments for 20 or 25 years based on income-driven repayment plans. Nationwide, the plan is expected to impact some 804,000 borrowers and $39 billion in student debt. The new plan could face renewed challenges from groups opposed to student debt forgiveness. In our top story this half hour, a year after the tragic death of Eric Love, the founder of Crosscut Mountain Sports Centers, reporters Megan Elaine is checking in to see how the organization is trying to fulfill his vision. Sydney Mike Lack is a coach at Crosscut Mountain Sports. She embodies Love's passion while she coaches young kids at their biathlon summer camp. He was just an amazing role model and the things that he, the vision he had at Crosscut and getting kids and youth and just everybody involved and his passion for that was absolutely amazing. Love was the main visionary behind Crosscut. On July 15th, 2022, a dust storm near Hardin, Montana, caused a massive car pileup, killing six people, including Love. For CEO Jen Beeston, the year following Love's death has been anything but easy. Actually, today, 
uh, would have been a 62nd birthday. He wanted everybody to feel welcome here from a five-year-old learning how to mountain bike to people that have been Nordic skiing for their entire lives to uh, somebody that wants to start uh, trying a new sport like biathlon or, ma or mountain biking um, to the best in the world. The organization has grown far beyond their imaginations. And what we've realized is while he was the spark for Crosscut and being able to acquire this amazing property seven years ago and build this incredible center, uh, it quickly grew so much bigger than himself. With an abundant staff and community utilizing these facilities for biathlons, skiing, hiking, and mountain biking, the values made by love years ago still hold true today. <laughs> Remember Eric just leaning back in his chair after we'd done all this brainstorming for a couple of days, and he just leaned back in his chair and he said, we're about uh, creating healthy community by connecting people with nature. And I think that just captures all of it. On July 29th, Crosscut will be hosting a mountain biking race. For more it's information, really cool. visit our website. In Bozeman, for MTN News, I'm Megan Elaine. Thank you very much, Megan, for that story. Now, Montana is full of amazing recreation opportunities from hiking to biking and fishing, but a lot of those activities, they require a good amount of physical activity. And thanks to a very special organization, One Billings Teen with Spina Bifida got to see parts of Montana she never thought she'd be able to see. Before last week, 16-year-old Billings teenager Allie Duncan had never gone whitewater rafting or fly fishing, hobbies that are pretty difficult to do when you're in a wheelchair. But one organization gave her the Montana Adventure of a Lifetime, a full week of firsts for her and her family. I'm going to put in your bread. Allie Duncan's life has always been a little bit tougher than most, but it hasn't stopped her from doing the thing she loves. I like, well, going fishing, and then I like to do art. She also helps others with disabilities through Eagle Mount. I'm actually volunteering there on Thursday. Impressive considering the Billings teenager was born with spina bifida, a spinal cord defect. She's had 23 surgeries, yeah. with another one scheduled in August. So this summer... Pretty good. Pretty good. One woman wanted to do something for Allie and her family. It's all about putting the family together in an outdoor experience, an outdoor shared adventure to where they build memories and, uh, you know, kind of reconnect as a family. The Big Hearts Under the Big Sky program has served about a thousand families over the past 15 years. The Duncans were the first in 2023. I think it's really cool that they do this for people like me. Big Hearts, which partners with a number of guiding and adventure companies, took the Duncans on a West Yellowstone helicopter tour, whitewater rafting, and fly fishing. I think I was most excited for the helicopter trip. But then I started liking the uh, whitewater rafting more. Well, in the helicopter, right, Allie? You'll never get to see those mm -hmm. tops of the mountains. Couldn't hike up there, and she saw mountain goats, and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. And Allie wasn't the only one on the trip. For every one of, of an Allie, there's a sibling also, like Addie, and, and mom, and dad. And all of these people, um, share in the the challenges that are that the family's facing. But Allie was the star and hopes she and others like her will keep being able to push the boundaries. I get to show other people like what it's like and like uh get to be the first one and know that there's other people out there that can do it. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News. Thank you very much for sharing that story with us, Alina. Now with this weather, you might feel a little jealous at the Big Sky Country Fair as you walk by two large pools. MTN's Jolie Slee tells us you better not jump in them because inside are two animals with huge flippers. I'm here at the Big Sky Country Fair and behind me here are some animals you'd never expect to see swimming around Bozeman. Zoe and Lily are two sea lions making a big splash at the Big Sky Country Fair. What was your favorite thing that Zoe and Lily did? Uh, eat the fish. These talented sea lions from Texas are captivating the audience with their impressive tricks and dance moves. But while folks watch, they're also getting to learn. 
Our show is actually really educational. We teach you a whole bunch. Frank Martin with Sea Lion Splash says Zoe and Lily travel all over performing, but they don't mind it one bit. They do a whole bunch of tricks that are actually natural behaviors. In the wild, we just teach them to do it on command. They actually love it. When you tell them it's time to go when you're at home, they run out to the truck. And everyone seems to love them right back. Everybody loves them. That's Lily. I don't even need to turn around and tell you who it is by the way that she sounds. And Lily wants attention right now. And that's exactly what she's getting this weekend at the Big Sky Country Fair. Are you going to go get your picture taken with one? Yes, 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 yes. In Bozeman, Jolie Salib, MTN News. I love that. That is awesome. All right, quick break here on Montana This Morning.